I've been asked to do something with regard to sources. Uh, how do you find sources? What is a credible source? And uh, hopefully this addresses it. I'm going to just try to look you know, through items just to see kind of what I would do if I was researching a topic. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is open up the rubric and look at the point here, uh, sources. Clearly support the thesis statement. The reader does not have to make any inference about the support as what is in the thesis. So it's really not looking at, you know, the, uh, I guess, the value of the source. You know, I would say a, a secondary source is definitely going to be different from a primary source. You know, primary source is something that's from that time period. But when you're doing your research, whatever you're looking for, you know, it's okay. I don't have any problems with anybody doing a Google search. You know, that doesn't really, you know, matter to me. So let's see here. Let's go to the essay topics. You know, if you have something on um, the Clinton administration, you know, now it's asking you about Rwanda. You know, we can just... And, and Rwanda. That's fine. Just start there. Um, here we have ABC C News. Bill Clinton regrets Rwanda now. And maybe you read this article. Look, you, you come across this phrase "Black Hawk Down." So maybe that becomes the the next thing that you search for. Like again, if you're looking for general information, um, you know that thesis is trying to argue how much did the U.S. know. In the U.S. response, so you probably have to find some some documents uh, on that. What I would say about the class is I already have a lot of those sources. So whatever marking period you're working in, you know, please use use these uh, sources. That's what they're there for. If it's genocide related, go to the uh, homepage and go to my genocide site. Now on the issue of Rwanda, I just happen to know. I don't even remember how I found these UN documents, but they were documents from the Clinton administration and the United Nations. So let's take a look at like this right here, the Hutu Ten Commandments. Um, I don't remember where I found this, but this counts as a primary document because they're the Hutu Ten Commandments. It's something that the Hutu have, had come up with. And you could use this, you know, according to the Hutu documents, uh, Ten Commandments, you know, point four, all Hutus must know that all Tutsis are dishonest in business. Like, if that's the section you want to reference, like, I don't know what you're arguing, but, you know, that would be kind of, you know, you can find that stuff. This uh, data comes from a source from a book, it tells you Scott Strauss. So let's just say you came across the name Scott Strauss. I've already said you can, um, you can simply go to, uh, you know, here's his book, Race, Power, and War. So I'm going to search Race, Power, and War. So JSTOR has something. Amazon has something. Now, you know, again, I didn't read the book, but I can look inside this book, and maybe I find something that kind of helps. You know, maybe that's something that, that I can do. Um, you know, of course, you would have, you wouldn't cite Amazon. You would just get the uh, copyright information, the publisher information from here, and then use that. That's that's totally allowed. Uh, Google Books, go there. You know, sometimes Google has more information uh, from inside the book than, than uh, Amazon. I don't even know if uh, they have anything in here. It doesn't look like they have. You know, sometimes it's just hit or miss um, with that stuff there. Uh, let's see. So, um, I don't know. All right, so we're on... You know, we're going to JSTOR. So I'm going to do a search for Clinton and Rwanda. So I, I, you know, I did a search and I came across some basic info. So here goes some articles on this. And like I said, I, I think in Google searching here for some reason does a better job. Clinton, Rwanda, JSTOR. Question of genocide, the Clinton administration. So this is a secondary source. Um, and so, you know, a way, look, if you want to cheat on some level, you know, I downloaded this thing into a PDF. I'm going to hit control F. I'm going to go to Clinton. And now I know every time that Clinton is mentioned, Clinton administration, Clinton administration, foreign policy, bureaucracy, it's refusal to deal with the crisis right there. 
Like they're saying that the Clinton administration's foreign policy bureaucracy is refusal to deal with the crisis. So this author is saying that Clinton administration refused to uh, you know address the crisis, and there are 21 you know references. Responded with vigor and creativity to the fifth phase, the mass flag Rwanda to the neighboring country. Can be best ended by looking at the five phases of the crisis. So we would, you know, I don't know if you want to address the five uh, crises because you probably don't need to. So I'm going to just go on. Top Clinton officials visited the refugee camps and humanitarian issues that were visibly visible prior to the White House, State Department, and Pentagon. I don't know if that helps. I mean, that kind of contradicts the, the point that, yeah, they seem to be involved in what's going on. You know, here they're saying that they stood on the issue. So I don't know. Um, again, like yeah, I did a control F that allowed me to download that. Clinton administration and Rwanda. So here we have yet another one. I'm going to download this. Control F. Let's do a search for Clinton. Remember both before Clinton's historic journey to Africa. A high level of dissatisfaction with the Clinton administration. There are 38 references to Clinton. So I just, you know, if I'm going to write about Clinton, then I, then I do that. Now, going back to the site that I was showing you, the genocide site, like I know that I found some pretty uh, damaging primary source documents right here. I found these on the United Nations website. You know, that's definitely something that, that you can do. Um, I found them here as well. Um, so here's like the actual, you know, document. And this right here, like, I can't really dispute this stuff here. It'll be up to you to kind of look through this stuff. Here's the actual document. I don't even know if this link here still works. Let's click this and see where it goes. National Security Archive. So here we go. It's the National Security Archive, U.S. and the Genocide of Rwanda, 1994. Where does that go? They're giving you some background information. Look, they have all of these documents here. Oh, wow, this is a lot better than it was years ago. So, I mean, here they're giving you a summary. So, I mean, I wouldn't cite the summary here. I mean, I, I guess, you know, it's the National Security Archive. I mean, that right there seems to be, you know, government sponsored. If it was the FBI, if it was the CIA, you know, documents are released. And I mean, there's tons of uh, sources here. Note four, I don't know where that took us there. Who produced the information? So, like, you would cite, you know, this document in a document, um, I don't know, I don't know the name of this document here, in a, in a state, Washington, in a, in a Department of State document dated May 16th, 1994, and then maybe you want to cite this section here. Now, you're always not going to have this luxury, you know, I mean, this is one that's uh, a little earlier um, or later, so uh, if you're looking for something earlier, like, you know, early 1900s, you know, documents, you know, they are difficult to find you know so a way you can go about that i mean you know um wilson speeches i mean i don't know what's going to come up his woodrow wilson speech the 14 points oh here we go we have wilson speech you know so here you have wilson speech and it's on the history place right here you know but i wouldn't want if they had a summary i wouldn't want you citing the summary you know i want you focusing on you know like this part right here you know you know, according to Wilson's 14-point speech, uh, dated, whatever the date is here, and then maybe this is the section that you cite. As a primary document, what I would then say is, whatever you're arguing in your thesis, the focal point of your paper, find me a JSTOR source. So let's go to Wilson, 14 points, JSTOR. The fable of the 14 points. That's so a Reddit e negative. They're calling it the fable of the 14 points. And this happens with JSTOR. Like, this seems to be an article. It doesn't seem to be something from a journal. Sometimes you get a book review. 14 points for the 20th century. So this is a book. So you don't have access to this. I don't know what the procedure is. So maybe it's just not available at this point. Um... Let's take a look at this one, the fable of four. Then I just do this one. All right, so here we go. So again, I'm gonna you know download this into a PDF. You know, maybe I'm Control F Wilson. Wilson, the really condemned the peace and tragic mockery. So to cry the violations of self determination. So I mean, there you go. Um, you now I just happen to know that Lodge, Henry Cabot Lodge, was somebody that was against. Um, 
So like right here, it says with lodges reservations. This is in a footnote though. So I don't know what they're bringing up about lodge, but Senator Henry Cabot Lodge. So let's say you did a, sur sur a search, you know, you know, you're in Wikipedia and they mention Henry Cabot Lodge. You know, that would be somebody else that you look up, you know, so let's take Henry Cabot Lodge. Speech against 14 points. So this is an excerpt from a speech, United States Classic Senate speech. So there you go. Um, you know, is, uh, do they have excerpts of the speech here? Affairs are giving you the intro. So yeah, I mean, you have some of the Henry Cabot Lodge. So if you're writing about Wilson's tension with Henry Cabot Lodge, you can cite Wilson's speech, and then you could kind of go to Cat, Cat, Henry Cabot Lodge's speech here, kind of go back and forth. I don't know about the Library of Congress, but the Library of Congress used to have a really good primary resource database. Uh, I don't know how they updated this. You know, things change. Finding primary source documents. Um, I don't know what you're going to get here. Search everything. Wilson, 14 points. You know, I, you might not get anything on this search here. You know, I've never, I haven't used this site with this major update. I'm not used to it. And I didn't really want to go into this screencast, you know, doing that. I kind of wanted to go about it, you know. Nine remains, protect code two, live in POWs. So it doesn't seem that it's much here. What did I search? 14 points. I got it. 14 points. I don't know why they're bringing up Vietnam. I mean, I could come up with a reason. I don't know. So let's go to Wilson. It's Federal Airways. That's not even going to count. But sometimes you just don't get anything. Let's search Woodrow Wilson. See what comes up. Wilson papers. They have a bunch of stuff on, on Wilson here. I don't, like I said, I didn't search through this and I didn't want to do that. Spelling something wrong here. All right, Woodrow Wilson. Oh, we have some photographs. Music. Woodrow Wilson. I don't even know what this is. Annotated music. New songs. Woodrow Wilson. Let's type in 14. You know, so you're in, in um, Wikipedia or Google search, you're on an encyclopedia database, and you come across just some general information, then you use that general information to use that as, a, you know, where you're going to go next. Speech notes in shorthand for his 14 points. So that's what you got here, apparently. Wilson speech notes. I don't know what this is. I didn't know what this is. Wow, look at that. What in the world is that? I don't know. Oh, it's in shorthand. I don't read shorthand. <laughs> shorthand. You're right. What is shorthand? All right, so let's do a search for shorthand. Shorthand. Method of rapid writing, abbreviation, and symbols. So now it makes sense. I should have figured out shorthand. So they're probably ex you know, going to explain um, in here somewhere. I'm afraid to see. It's like, wow, that's pretty fascinating. Um... So there you go, I and mean, that would be something that, that you can do there. Like I said, if you're coming across any names, use that. Uh, you know, sometimes colleges have some pretty good databases, like for World War One. I, I know that there's this database here, and they break down primary source documents by year. You know, and they're giving you, you know, like the Peace Treaty of Brest-Litovsk. I know that Calvin College. Nazi database. If you find yourself on a college site that has primary documents, by all means, there you go. I mean, here you go, a bunch of World War II propaganda. And then you would cite, like, this is a, something from 1941. That's the approach that you uh, want to use. Now, just to give you one more thing, like on this site here, there's plenty of sources on this site. Like this is the FBI file that I found on the FBI site. There you go. Um, let's see what else. This here. I know I have something else. Um, that could be something that you use there. 
Um, and don't forget, I have tabs up here, ProQuest, historical newspapers, and I don't know. Hopefully this helps.